NFTs, Unreal Engine 5 game assets, and staking. Well, today we're talking about all the utility of this awesome project called Pucci Inu. But before we do that, make sure to do your own research figure out if this project is for you. So we're here to check out what this project is all about. It's super exciting of everything going on. I'm going to show you guys the game assets and they're kind of previewing that. Uh, I think that's a great idea, especially with all the excitement around the metaverse. So uh, let's just jump right into it now. Pucci Inu. Here on the website at PoochieInu.io, PoochieInu, the unique metaverse hybriding pet token. So we're going to learn all about this project and then kind of go over uh, all the utility, which I mentioned, which is uh, really cool. Obviously, when we're looking at projects, we want to make sure that they have a ton of utility. Uh, and this one has a lot. Uh, and then we'll check out the white paper and, then of course, teach you guys how to buy. So, uh, And, of course, we'll check out the socials, of course. We always check out the socials. So uh, here's the tokenomics, 100 billion total supply, 11% buy tax, 11% sell tax. Uh, here's the inspiration. So Pucci Inu is a small Japanese bread dog known for its adorable pitch black eyes and extra accented golden fur. And this is their logo uh, up here, if you can't uh, tell already. I think it's uh, cool. Uh, staying true to its Shuba Inu genes, it swirls its tail counterclockwise when happy and ecstatic. The lighter color of a Poochie's fur above its eyes creates an illusion of eyebrows, making it distinguishable from any other breed of Shiba Inus. We inspire to identify with different from other Dogecoins and are proud to introduce yourself Poochie Inu. Yeah, I've definitely seen pictures of this dog before. Definitely uh, do your own Google search uh, and you'll know what we're talking about. You've probably seen uh, this dog breed before. So. As a team, we hail from different verticals of the IT world and together contribute strength and a diverse range of expertise uh, and experience, including managing, navigating, operating blockchain technology, and uh, interpreting te technical analysis. Our main aim is to provide unique type of passive income to our loyal holder. So they're not saying who they are right now. Again, it's a new project, uh, but they're saying that they have a lot of experience, uh, not only blockchain, but other tech uh, associated uh, projects, which, which is good. Obviously, uh, you want to make sure that, uh, you know, you have the right team behind uh, really pushing this, especially from like the technical part, because when we go over uh, the use cases of this, there that definitely where it really plays out. So um, here it is. So NFTs, Pucci will be developing NFTs of puppies that introduce the concept of growth and decay into, into the solidity smart contracts. And then Unreal Engine 5, which I thought this one was a good idea. Pucci Inu NFTs will be custom game assets where you'll be able to interact with them with your pet in our metaverse. Um, so I guess you guys don't know Unreal Engine 5. It's a video game engine. A lot of big games like Fortnite have been built on top of it. Uh, you know that if someone is building a game or using assets for Unreal Engine 5, that it's like a AAA game because the assets look super uh, real, <laughs> super real. Uh, but I do think that uh, you know, I think it's a good idea to have game assets and just focus on that as a utility because if you make really cool game assets, which we'll check out, then a lot of people will be interested in it and put it in their uh, game. Rather than trying to make your own games, it's kind of just building the assets so if other people can use it. I think it's an interesting uh, take on this. Uh, staking, the Pucci New Talk will represent the nourishment part of the equation. You stake your Pucci to feed your puppy. So here's the game assets of this, and I think that they're just showing some uh, initial uh, demos and things like that. So, uh, whoa, this got gigantic. Um, so essentially, I think this will do it. Um, there you go. Uh, so essentially, they're just showing these game assets. So in this case, it's this dog uh, within the game. Like I said, if you're an Unreal Engine 5, it looks super realistic. That's what it's known for. That's why people use it. It's a very like uh, advanced game engine. Obviously, it's the fifth version of your engine. So they're saying that they are uh, building assets that you can get access to, um, obviously, and then they're showing it in game and obviously, you know, showing us who, how realistic uh, it is. Obviously, they have uh, a lot of experience. This is where I was saying was this is where the technical experience uh, comes into play. And I think it's cool. Um, obviously, everything else in the world is uh, stuff that's already belongs in there for Unreal Engine. They're just showing off 
the, the dog, but the idea is that if someone is building a game and they need uh, these game assets, obviously they can look to Pucci Inu uh, to do so. So I think that's interesting, and obviously this is just a quick preview of it. Obviously they plan to do um, a lot more. I don't want to even say this is the final version of it. So I think that's a cool idea, and again, this is just the beginning of um, all their ideas around that. Um, so if you guys are interested in how to buy, it's on the Ethereum network, so that means you're buying it through uh, Uniswap, so swapping Ethereum for swapping Ethereum for um, uh, Pucci. So cool. Uh, they kind of go through instructions here. Create MetaMask wallet, send ETH to your wallet, make wallets wallet to Uniswap, swap ETH for uh, Pucci. Uh, so then we'll talk about a little bit about the updates that they put on their Telegram and Twitter. But um, then we'll kind of just jump into some of the other stuff as well. We'll check out the chart uh, and read the white paper. Uh, so here's the white paper. Again, very new project, right? So uh, they're literally just getting started on this stuff. So Pujian will be creating NFT puppies that will be able to care and experience within the Unreal Engine 5 metaverse. Proceeds from the tax will go towards development and marketing. Uh, NFT sales will go towards further amount of smart contracts. Um, so the things that you can do with it, growth, decay, nourishment, breeding. Uh, and then they kind of like, uh, here's like the logic flow, I guess they wanted to, to mention uh, about this. Users have, has both po Pucci and dog NFT and wallet. User stakes Pucci, staking interacts with the dog NFT contract to augment properties. Image data updates as progress is made. Uh, accelerate serum used to breed. And so again, the idea is that they're gonna, you know, be able to customize this and change this. And then this is a different project. NFT correction, metaverse integration, smart contract theory, pet adoption application, Pucci branded um, economy for pet supplies. So again, very new. This is kind of laying out their ideas. And then I assume that they're going to update this uh, obviously in the future. But if you guys want some updates on the latest on this, you can check out their Twitter at uh, official underscore Pucci underscore Inu. Like I said, this is actually a fairly new project. They're launching on February 2nd. Uh, they're launching on the Yasha pad. Remember, if you guys are familiar, I've talked about Inuyasha before, so it's great if you've been following my updates on Inuyasha, then definitely you'll be excited um, about Pucci Inu. Pucci will be only NFTs of puppies introduce the concept of growth to get into smart, Solidity smart contracts. So uh, I think it's awesome that this is coming to the Inuyasha ecosystem. I think every party that's launched Inuyasha so far um, has been great and awesome. So I uh, just really can't wait to learn more about that yeah the second is next of this upcoming wednesday so definitely mark your calendars even brian makes benjamins has made a video on Pucci, so that's cool uh they even sh are showing off more of this this is the certec audit that's in progress uh here's a more previous nfts obviously they're having this realistic look because they want to be able to utilize it within the unreal engine uh, 5 universe but uh definitely a lot of detail uh into this which i think is a is a good idea um but yeah definitely something you guys should check out so no chart to check out today because of the fact that this is uh, not out yet coming in the near future follow them on telegram for some of the latest updates uh here's a tweet from inyasha uh talking about Pucci uh, and how it's coming and that's it. Um, if you guys are interested in it, like I said, I would do the research on past Inuyasha projects. I've probably talked about um, about them all, but all of them have done really well. So uh, this is your chance to join in uh, on a great project if this is something that you guys are interested in. Uh, definitely follow them on Telegram uh, for some of their latest updates. Uh, I'll put the link in the description for you guys to check out. Uh, Again, a lot of excited people from the community. I think what's really good about this Inuyasha launchpad is each of the communities is kind of following all the tokens that they're launching from there. And so they already have a set foundation community that's interested in this project and all the things that they're doing. So uh, you definitely know there's gonna be a lot of excitement uh, day of launch. So uh, definitely mark this on your calendars and definitely follow along with them uh, for some updates. But um, definitely join Twitter. They're obviously very communicative and are going to make sure that you guys get all your questions answered before the launch date. And definitely if you have them, ask those questions about the NFTs, uh, all the game assets, everything that they're doing, and possibly more stuff that they're doing in the future. But uh, I'm going to keep an eye on this project and I'll probably do another update video um, sometime before uh, the second as a reminder. So here's a quick update from their Telegram. Uh, again, like I said, this is in the Inuyasha Launchpad. It's from the team that brought you in Yasha, which I talked about a ton, Guzzler, which I talked about, and then Clifford Inu, which I talked about as well. Uh, they did 60% after launch, and the next project launches, uh, like I said, on the second. So a lot of excitement always around the projects. They do really well, and this should be uh, no different. Obviously, do our research, not financial advice. And again, all the utility is definitely different than what the rest of the projects have done, and definitely setting themselves for success uh, this year, especially going to the metaverse with everything going on. So thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.